Hello, I'm Dom, M0BLF, and together with Rob, M0VFC, we put together the technical side of the Learn More About stream at the RSQB convention online in 2020. In this behind the scenes video, we'll show you a little bit of the equipment that we used to do that and how it all came together. But of course, that was only one of the two streams that we had. And uh, must thank David G7URP and Tammy M0TC for their efforts, as well as John M5ET and Lawrence M0LCM, who are at the National Radio Centre, which we'll see a little bit later. First of all, I should explain that the general principle of the convention was fairly simple. The presenters would join over Zoom, which was running in dual screen mode, which meant that each presenter's video feed and their presentation arrived separately with us, which we could use as separate inputs on the vision mixer. You can see them as Pres1 and Pres2 in the multi-screen you're looking at at the moment. In addition, we had a moderator for the stream. In the case of the Introduction 2 stream, this was done by David G7URP and therefore used a local camera, but on the Learn More About stream it was done by Jim G4AEH, also using a separate Zoom feed which arrived as the Jim feed on the Multiview. The other bits and pieces that you'll see here I'll uh, take you through in just a moment. So we're just running down what we've got here. We've got one laptop that is uh, running our pre-recorded material. We're in a pre-recorded video at the moment with Olaf's talk. Uh, coming along here we've got uh, Zoom running which is uh, our link to Jim Lee who is the uh, moderator for the stream. Uh, on this uh, on this uh, screen you've got uh, the live feed from the presenter. You can see Olaf making notes for his Q&A which is coming up in a moment. And uh, on this screen we would normally have the presenter's slides. In this case we've got a, a flipped version of the recording that's coming back to us. This is uh, kind of like the big brains of the operation. You can uh, see on the main screen here the uh, what the output is going to the stream is. Coming down we've got a camera which we have as a backup. If we need to uh, we can uh, turn that on if we lose our link to Jim and we have no other content. Uh, what have we got here? We've got a sound card, the Xair, which is actually not in use at the moment. The Vision Mixer, the ATEM 2 me And then we have three Blackmagic HyperDeck recorders. Uh, what, the middle one is not in use actually. The top one there is uh, running the emergency tape. So if we literally have nothing at all, we can uh, cut to that. And then at the bottom we have the recording of the stream. That's recording the output uh, ready for us to edit and upload later. Uh, just above the network switch here you have uh, VDU which is uh, actually doing the connection to YouTube. Coming across we've got the sound desk, uh, we're mixing the sound independently of the video and then we have our multi view which is showing us all of our different sources. Uh, you've got uh, currently on the preview screen top left you've got uh, Olaf's and uh, Jim ready to talk to each other. We've got the pre-recorded film that's uh, going out at the moment on the program. And then you've got all the sources, including uh, the uh, the breakdown tape in the bottom left, which I mentioned, and also the feed coming in from the, um, the National Radio Centre there in the middle. Uh, on this screen, we've got Casper VT, uh, which is uh, running the uh, pre-recorded countdowns that you see between each individual session. Uh, that automatically starts uh, at a quarter of an hour before each individual session. Coming over onto this screen, we have the uh, the YouTube stream itself is, uh, is, is being run here with the chat. And then we've got a final laptop with the stream coming in from the NRC. So uh, that's uh, everything that's involved. It's 12 laptop screens in all, and uh, it's uh, a lot of tech, but, uh, but good fun to put together. Okay, so here's a little bit about how we do the control for this. You've got all the sources, as Dom just mentioned, coming in there. Pretty much everything is driven from this little stream deck uh, running a, a custom bit of software. This has all the different combinations of shots that we want. So, for example, if we looked on the preview side of the, the monitor, we could say just Jim. We could have a lower third. We could have the two side by side. Olaf, Olaf with his lower third. 
and various different combinations, for example, the National Radio Centre with or without a countdown timer. All of that's driven from over here, and one of the bits that we've got going on because we have so many different talks is the different combinations of lower thirds, that's the name along the bottom, the side-by-side -side background when they're talking to each other, the full-screen graphics that we need, and optionally also the lower third on the feed from the NRC. So we can set that up once for each stream, uh, for, for each talk, and then very quickly get to any of the shots that we need over on the stream deck. So most of the time, all we need to do is use these buttons down here and the big green go button to take the shot. The gap between each talk was filled by crossing to the National Radio Centre at Bletchley Park to listen in to the QSOs they were making. This gave us time to disconnect one presenter, connect the other presenter and then make sure everything was going to be working okay. The feed from the National Radio Centre was sent as an unlisted YouTube feed and therefore not publicly visible and it contained the live graphic but not the countdown which was superimposed by each stream individually. Due to limited bandwidth at the National Radio Centre, the backhaul of this signal was over 4G using a Teltonica RUT955 router which held up very well. One of the final things that some of you may be wondering is quite what happened at the very start of the day when we didn't go on air exactly as planned. Well, the answer can be seen here. Two minutes and 40 seconds before the very start with the President's welcome, the HDMI to SDI converter that we were using on that feed became intermittent and we could no longer had a reliable source to play the President's welcome through. We had to swap it out, which we did just in time, but unfortunately in doing that, we also changed the sound card settings that Windows was using to try and play the next video, which resulted in the video starting with no sound, which we then had to go back to correct once we noticed it. So apologies for that. Anyway, I hope you found this explanation of how we put together the RSGB convention online interesting and look forward to seeing you in person next year.